Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I would like to welcome the Minister of Long-Term Care, Honorable Minister Rod Phillips to Scarborough Rouge Park. I would also like to thank Nitin Jain, President and CEO of Siana Senior Living for hosting us here at Altmont. It is great to be joined by Elizabeth Buller, President and CEO of Scarborough Health Network. I want to acknowledge my colleagues, Minister Raymond Cho and MPP Babikian for being here today. Before I begin, I want to express my appreciation to all of the hardworking and dedicated staff in long-term care homes across the province and right here in Altamont. Today, I stand here before you as a proud member of this government, one that is taking tangible action to deliver the changes that are so desperately needed. During the pandemic, Altamont Care community was among the hardest hit long-term care homes in all of Ontario. I heard from many family members of the residents that we need to do more. Our government made a commitment to building more long-term care homes and additional beds, increase access to long-term care homes, and provide high-quality care that our seniors deserve and need. And that is exactly what we are doing. Minister Phillips has been on the road crisscrossing the province, visiting long-term care homes, and listening to the needs of different communities, like the one right here in Scarborough. Minister Phillips took the time to meet the long-term care leaders right here in Scarborough Rouge Park and listen to their concerns. As a result, we are building more modern, safe, and comfortable homes for our seniors. Without further ado, it is my distinguished pleasure and honor to welcome Honorable Minister Rod Phillips to share details of this announcement that's coming to Scarborough. Thank you so much, MPP Thena Kasalium. He is a fantastic representative um, and a person, one of the people with just a great, great future in our uh, in our government. But representing Scarborough Rouge Park here today, and, and it's great to see Allison and Marilyn from the Family and Residence Council. Thank you very much. Uh, great to have our representatives uh, of of uh, the residents in the home, and of course our family members who support them. Um, so important. It's a pleasure to be here at the Altamont Care Community today to talk about the expansion of care, the improvement of care here in Scarborough. I am here, as Vijay mentioned, with uh, my colleague, Minister Raymond Cho, uh, who's also the MPP for Scarborough North, and Aris Babikian, who's the MPP for Scarborough Age and Court. Uh, the Scarborough team really does do a great job of making sure that those priorities are on the top of our, our priority list. Uh, Elizabeth Bueller, Elizabeth, great to see you, and, and so great to talk today about the partnership with Scarborough Health Network. Through, through Elizabeth, thank you, as Vijay said, to all of the great team members at Scarborough Health Network who have been so busy and so active and so effective as we deal with the pandemic, and Nitin Jane uh, from Sienna Homes, another great partner in terms of what we're doing here today. Um, as people know, we have a plan in uh, Ontario to fix long-term care, and that plan has three pillars. It involves focusing on staffing and care, uh, a $5 billion investment to add 27,000 more registered nurses, uh, registered practical nurses, uh, PSWs. Thousands of those have already entered into the workforce and so critical to the care. It also involves our plan around new, uh, new requirements around accountability, around transparency and around enforcement. And I'm pleased to say that the Fixing Long-Term Care Act received royal assent yesterday, uh, which is uh, on its way to becoming the new law in Ontario that will do things like make four hours of care per resident per day the law here uh, in Ontario for the first time in any place in Canada. Uh, it will also uh, make sure that the doubling of the number of inspectors that we put forward uh, and that those inspectors can have the kinds of tools they need to make sure that uh, accountability is at the heart of, uh, of what we do here. But today um, I'm here to talk about the third pillar, which is building safe, uh, modern uh, homes uh, for our residents and for our seniors. And, uh, and that's why uh, it's so exciting. Uh, we, we have uh, made a commitment as a government to building 30,000 net new long-term care beds in Ontario and to redeveloping 28,000 beds, the biggest development project in long-term care in Canada ever. Um, and today I'm pleased to announce that we're adding 21 new and 503 upgraded beds in Scarborough, Ontario. 
the COVID-19 pandemic did underscore the need, and as, as was mentioned, Altamont was at the heart of some of our most challenging days uh, in terms of the pandemic, but it underlined the need to have modern, updated, safe beds for our seniors. And the new spaces that we're building today, like the ones in this allocation, will be built to the most modern standards and will represent the most modern partnerships in terms of how these uh, facilities will be operated, whether that has to do with infection prevention and control, uh, whether that has to do with all the other aspects of care uh, that are so important. 448 beds for in Scarborough for that allocation that we're announcing today. Um, had right here at Altamont Community Centre, um, 85 of those beds were previously allocated and 159 allocated as redeveloped beds. And this will make this facility one of the largest and I would dare say one of the most modern facilities uh, we're going to have in Ontario. And it is so, so encouraging, and we were talking about it uh, just before the press conference, to see the partnership between Sienna and Scarborough Health Network. Um, that's a partnership that in many ways was forged through the challenges of, uh, of the pandemic and now we see a really positive, uh, a really positive growth of that and I'm so excited to hear about the 50-50 partnership between Sienna uh, and Scarborough Health Network um, and how Scarborough Health Network will provide the medical expertise and the broader support around the campus of care that's envisioned here at this site. Now, Midland Gardens Community Care Centre is a second project that we're announcing in uh, Scarborough today, adding new and upgraded beds. That's 21 new and 299 upgraded beds, also in Scarborough. In total, that's 768 new and upgraded beds for families and friends. And this is being added to the significant number of beds that are already under development um, and or new, new facilities uh, or existing facilities that are already under development in Scarborough. Um, in total, uh, with today's announcement, there are 1,376 long-term care beds either being built new or being uh, redeveloped and improved in Scarborough. And that's an important number because as I often get the chance to talk about with community leaders, uh, with those from the long-term care sector, with residents and families, between 2011 and 2018, only 611 net new beds were built across the entire province. Uh, and so the delivery of 1,376 beds here in Scarborough is something that's really going to make a difference for residents, for family members, for staff who deserve as well to work in the highest quality uh, facilities so that they can deliver the highest quality of care. Now when construction begins at Altamont, uh, Scarborough and the Garden Centre community, it'll join many and many of the other projects. Uh, we are well over now 230 projects that are underway across the province, either new homes or homes that are being rebuilt in redevelopment. Um, and it's all part of our focus and our mission to make sure that quality of care and quality of life are at the centre of what we're doing in long-term care. Um, as I mentioned, uh, we've made significant investments around staffing, hugely, hugely important uh, commitments. Uh, in, it, in addition to the, the staff I mentioned, we've also added 240 nurse practitioners, so an additional layer of care and support uh, that will we'll add to the 27,000 other staff uh, that we'll be adding over the next four years. And we've also added $72 million to double the number of inspectors. I mentioned with the new Fixing Long-Term Care Act in Ontario that Minister Cho and I were, care, were proud to uh, carry through and see a passage of the legislation. Um, we are going to see very positive improvements, both in the retirement home sector and the long-term care sector, in terms of oversight, enforcement, and transparency. So, a very exciting day here in Scarborough. Um, I want to again thank my colleagues uh, for their support in making sure these beds get delivered here in Scarborough. I want to th thank the Scarborough Health Network, and I want to thank SEATA for being good partners. Um, and most importantly, I want to echo what uh, MP, uh, MP Thekinusian said about the, the uh, hard work of our frontline health care workers. Uh, we know that today we are still dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, we know that as a community, uh, we are up to that challenge. Uh, but the people at the front line when it comes to long-term care are the frontline employees, the nurses, the cooks, uh, the PSWs, uh, the cleaners, um, the people who keep our residents safe. Uh, so I'd like to echo his, uh, his thanks to that whole sector, to everybody who's working hard, particularly as we go into this holiday season. Um, and with that, for a bit more detail, I'm pleased to turn it over to Nitin Jane, who's the CEO of Sienna Healthcare. Thank you. Nitin. Thank you, Minister Phillips, and it's a privilege today to be here at Altamont with Minister Cho, MPP Babikhan, MPP Vijay, and Elizabeth Bueller, President and CEO of Scarborough Health Network, in regards to three of our Scarborough communities, Midland Gardens, Rockcliffe, and Altamont. I would also like to recognize Marilyn and Allison 
and Allison was just sharing the secret of her 105-year-old mom going to 106 is tea. So if you're looking to be 106, you know, be drinking tea. So, <laughs> Getting to this extraordinary day has not been easy. The last 21 months to say they have been challenging would be an understatement. But it has been the dedication of our 12,000 team members who came into work when the world was shut down that we are on solid ground. And it's for people like Scarborough Health Network and the people on the podium that we, we are really proud of where we are headed next. And our 12,000 team members, we know that Siena is headed in the right direction as a transformed organization. I've had the privilege of visiting three of these sites over the last 18 months multiple times. In fact, I worked at long-term care shift, my first long-term care shift at Rockcliffe in the kitchen. And you have to see the dedication and passion of our team members to ensure that our residents are, are taken care of. And it is that passion and that inspiration that inspired us to launch Sienna Ownership Program, where 12,000 of our uh, team members are going to be shareholders in the company. And we cannot think of a better group of people who would become partners in Sienna. Some of you might not know this, but I'm new CEO to this company. I joined right after the first wave, but taking care of seniors is not new to me. In, when growing up in India, my grandfather stayed with us for many decades, and I, I saw my father take care of him for all those years. In fact, when I moved to North America to study, and I couldn't afford my own air ticket, my grandfather paid for that ticket. And it is his uh, memory and his uh, 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 passion that I bring to my job each and every day. As an immigrant, it's also very special to be, standing in, to be standing here today and announcing this incredible announcement. As Minister Phillips talks about, the first one is the merging of Rockcliffe and Altamont into one of the larger campuses in Ontario with 448 beds, and additionally, which will include 64 behavioral units and 30 palliative care beds, which are desperately needed in Scarborough. In the Scarborough Bluffs area, we would be revitalizing Midland Gardens to 320 long-term care beds and 54 senior affordable housing apartments. Today is another big step forward to our company's commitment of investing $600 million to make seniors' lives better in Ontario. Thank you today for all to make this possible on behalf of our residents, families, and our team members. I now have the honor of introducing Elizabeth Bueller from Scarborough Health Network. Liz, you and the Scarborough Health team came to help us where there was no vaccines and people didn't really know how this COVID worked. It is during time of crisis when you really get to know the nature of people. And I could not tell you that we couldn't find better partners than you and Scarborough Health Network to be partnering with us at Altamont. Liz, I, the floor is all yours. Thank you. Thank you, Nitin, for those uh, very kind words. It is an honour to be a partner with you and to be here with members of our team today uh, who have also been honoured to work with Siena Living. And thank you, Minister Phillips, Minister Cho, MPP Thanet Gassalam, MPP Babikian, and uh, MPP Midas in absence today, but for this historical and exciting announcement. Our new partnership, as announced today, will bring comfort and peace of mind and f to future residents of Altamont Care Community. Throughout the pandemic and beyond, Scarborough Health Network has played a critical role in supporting over 20 long-term care communities across Scarborough. We were honoured to partner with Siena Senior Living to support Altamont, where our physicians, nurses and staff developed a close and personal connection with the staff and the residents. By joining together, we will reimagine and transform the care received at Altamont and build a model for what the future of long-term care can look like in our city and in our province. As we move forward together on this new initiative, I'm honoured to be here with Nitin, who has worked tirelessly since assuming the position of President and CEO of Siena. He's been delivering the very best results to his residents. Thank you for our partnership and thank you everyone for joining us today. I now have the privilege of turning it over to our friend of Scarborough, Minister Cho. Hello, everyone. It's an honor 
to be joined here today by my good friends and colleagues, especially Honorable Rod Phillip, Minister of Long-Term Care, and uh, hard-working MPP, Alice Babikian, MPP BJ Sandy Grasalam. The people of Scarborough, for years, heard promise from liberal government and then no action. For years, they were promised a subway, but the liberal didn't build subway under the premier Doug Ford and PC government leadership. The PC government is delivering the subway that is needed for the people of Scarborough. Promise made, promise kept. Building subways was not the only promise our government made. Today, we offer a special welcome to Minister Long-Term Care, Rod Phillips. Minister Phillips is true champion for people of Ontario, and I know he really cares about Scarborough people. And uh, under his leadership, the government is creating long-term care beds, addressing the massive wait list created by the Liberals, promise made, promise kept. I had the privilege of a co-sponsor with the Minister Phillips, Bill 37. Yesterday, this bill received royal assent. This will strengthen care in our long-term care and retail home sectors. These are just some of the examples that I see firsthand that we all see of his dedication and his tenacity and his heart. Thank you, Minister Rod Phillip. Thank you. I believe we're available if there are any questions. And if there aren't, then that's okay too. Questions, so that, that'll uh, conclude the announcement portion of today. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you so much.